Hello and welcome to LBUSD Assistive Technology Department. Um, how to make edits or add buttons to the app called Prolo Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited that you are eager to personalize the vocabulary for your student. Um, I want to start off by saying that when we think about adding personalized vocabulary, I want you to think about where would it make the most sense and how are we going to model this? An example of this would be with Prolo Go, the app is organized in categories and in folders. So I want you to think about, well, where would the word banana make the most sense? Am I going to add it under people? Probably not, but we would add it under food. Um, I would add my students' friends under people, but I wouldn't add them under food. See what I mean? Another thing with Prolo Go, you want to make sure that this first page stays the same, uh, this home page specifically, because we do not want to disturb the motor plan. Motor plan is basically what the student is learning by those repeated examples of modeling and learning the location of the button. So leave this first page as is. If we want to add personalized vocabulary or buttons, right, by editing, we're going to add those in those folders where it would make the most sense. Okay. So let's get started. The first things first that you want to do is make sure that the iPad is out of guided access. Guided access is something that our teams use in order to ensure that the device is solely being used for communication and the student isn't exiting or doing anything else on the iPad. So to double check that, um, I'm going to show you how to turn it on and off, how to turn on guided access and how to turn it off. So on the iPad, it is located on the top right-hand corner, the lock button. You're gonna triple click that three times, one, two, three, and guided access started. So I didn't have it on, on my personal device. To turn it off, you're gonna do the same thing. That top lock button, which is located on the top right-hand corner, you're gonna triple click it really fast, one, two, three, and you're gonna enter the password. So our password is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna click end. Wonderful. Now you're gonna exit out of the app by swiping up and out. And you will go into the iPad settings. So that's the gray settings wheel. So we're gonna open up that one. Here on this left-hand side, you will scroll until you find the app Proloquo. So that's the one with the blue owl. I mean, the blue background and the owl. Then you will turn on the show options button, which will allow you to turn on the edit mode. So now swipe out and go back into Proloquo. Great. You've already completed two of our steps on how to turn on the edit mode. Now that we're back into Proloquo to go, as you can see, we have our settings wheel turned on. Um, mine right now has like the number two down at the bottom, this one right here. So I'm gonna click that. And when you open it, what you'll see is help, like this big question mark up at the top and user will usually have the student's name. What you're gonna do is scroll down and go into restrictions. Now that you're in here, you're gonna turn on edit mode. Ta-da! You have officially turned on edit mode. Look at you. Alrighty, now that we have done this, again, I want you to think about what vocabulary do you want to program and which folder would it be, would be the best location to add it. So in this case, if you were adding family members, we would go into people and we would open up the family folder. And in here we can program the specific buttons of all of the different family members. So we will start off here and then I'll show another example of maybe like a play item. Sorry, it's lunchtime for our students at the school. Okay, so I've already entered into my family folder. I will turn on edit mode by touching the pencil and you will be in edit mode because 
you will now see this pop up down here at the bottom. And as you can see, there is a white square next to mommy with a plus sign and a plus folder. You're gonna touch the plus, which is located on the left side, um, which means to add a button. So you'll select that. And then once you're in here, you're really just gonna fill out three things. Text to speak, which is what the button will say. The label is the black text that is on the button itself. And then the picture, which you can take a picture of the different people in your family, or you can also use a symbol that's already in the app. But I will show you how to do that right now. So let's say um, for the purposes of this, I will reprogram the button mommy. So that's what I want my button to say. So I'll just start typing mommy and it populated a picture for me of this mom holding her baby. If I like that, I could click done, which is located on the top right hand corner, um, right underneath where the battery percentage is right here. So you click done. Mommy. And you've just programmed your first button. Um, but let's say you didn't like that picture. I'm gonna touch, I'll do that again a little bit slower. Touch the pencil button down at the bottom, touch the mommy button. And now here in this area, I'm gonna touch that yellow square and I'm gonna select, take a picture. And if I wanted to, I could take a picture of myself and fit it into the screen and select use photo. And that's how I would use a photo that I've taken on the app um, so that my student can see my face on their device. To finalize it, because I'm still in edit mode, I'm gonna click done, which is on the top right hand corner. Done. And then I'm gonna test my button, make sure it works. Mommy. Perfect. Awesome, so that's how you add a button. I wanna show you another example, just one more to get that practice in. We're gonna go into the fun folder and in here, I'm gonna add like a personalized toy that my student really likes. I have a sweet, a Mexican sweet bread like plushy um, or like a stuffed, not a stuffed animal, but like a little plush. And yeah, it's one of the items that I would say is fun. It's nice to squeeze it. I like it. Um, I want it, right? I could model those like. I like. I like. I want i want more more right maybe something different different so let me show you how to add that button so again i still have my edit functions turned on i'm gonna touch that pencil button down at the bottom touch the plus sign and then i'm gonna type in the name of my item so it's a concha or a mexican sweetbread and I'm gonna touch the square. I could choose a symbol. So that's gonna show me like the care, the, the symbol inventory that's already in the app. So all of these like little caricatures ones. So let's do maybe bread. I could search one, see if there's one that represents it. And no, not really. So I'm gonna press cancel go back I can take a picture so again my camera is up I have my item put it on my table and then snap the picture I'm going to zoom it in as much as I can so it fits this white square and then click use photo Click done on the top right hand corner. And now. Concha. Concha or concha. And I've just programmed that button too. So I could model. You want concha. You want concha. Or if it was something else. You like Legos. You like Legos. More Legos. More Legos. And then I can hand them more Legos as we play along. Um, I could do you have more you have more 
and maybe I have less, right? Or you have all you have all the Legos. Legos. Um, I'm still modeling the sentence verbally how I would say it. And when I'm modeling on the iPad, I might just choose to focus on like a couple words so the student can make connections. Alrighty, so that's how you turn on edit mode and how you add buttons. I just wanna show you one other thing before we are done and it's to save your changes. So we're gonna go into the settings wheels down at the bottom. And while we're in here, we're still in restrictions. So let's turn off that edit mode so that our student doesn't make changes to the iPad going to click back and then you're going to go down to the bottom and where it says backup Google Drive should be turned on and if that's the case you will just click um, backup all users now and then that will save your changes alrighty now that we are done saving our changes turned off edit mode we do have to turn off that settings wheel so let's swipe up and out of the app Go into the settings, go to Proloquo to go, show options button, turn it off, swipe back, and then back into Proloquo. And now we're gonna set it in guided access. Remember, triple click the lock button three times. One, two, whoops. One, two, three. And you are set to go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your SLP or to our LBUSD Assistive Technology Department.